Hi, I'm Philip Gelly. And I'm Josephine Dorado. I would say that Some Collisions is about... It is a look at a human being in the way that they interact with the world on a physical level. The piece that we want to make is about having a physical occurrence happen that is strong enough that it leaves a scar and then how that scar and how that event has affected you and how you reflect on it. Coming off and landing right there and burning the bejesus out of me. And being like a kind of annoying place to have something. We want to make dynamic polygon based 3D models of subjects where each polygon is an explorable and navigable node of information about that subject. I don't remember this. By connecting to this larger body of stories that are out there in media, through color, through relevant and related facts, all these little parts will be brought back together into this physical mapping. It's not just about the 3D model, though. I think the 3D model is simply a byproduct of it. The system we created is more about the ability to map and gather in such a way that it's gathering information that's related to personal, relevant Mostly histories. So, um, you know, so intimately at that time. But, uh, yeah. Starting with the physical marks and then going backwards, through the experience and through the emotional state, we get a deeper understanding of the person. And the goal of the work that we want to do is to create a navigable model that does that same thing. Because it's like big, it's the size of a dime. A small dime. I have <laughs> a scar right here above my eyelid. It appears to be nothing more than just an extra fold. This happened when I was uh, 10 years old. My brother and I were wrestling, and he threw me, and I hit my head on the corner of a treasure chest that my grandfather made me. There it is. And Right there. I guess it's not that big anymore, but it was like pretty... This is my little guy. I believe I cut myself. Uh, but it's it's always kind of perplexed me as to why I don't fully understand where the other cross the X came from. Um. It was New Year's Eve. I was asked to cut the green peppers for the crudite plate. We're physical beings. That every part of us <laughs> is has a, a backstory to it, and that when you look at something like a scar, it's really specific because it's um, it's honest. It's the it's the representation of an absence, right? It's that something was was chopped out, space. yeah, and then that negative space is filled with with a scar. And I like held it aloft for a long time, and I was taken off of. Slicing duty, pretty much been my friends forever. After that, those models are then projected into a gallery where a visitor can explore them in 3D space. It is an art project, and it will be beautiful. But I think it goes way beyond the art project to being a framework that can be applied towards deeper engagement. Why do we need CERN and Future Lab? We need a space. We need a space in many different ways and in, on many different levels to do this. Like we need a space physically and we need a space in time. Um, and the idea of doing an artist residency is exactly perfect for that. And what better place to do it than CERN where there are an amazing amount of resources and brains that um, we would be, have access to. I guess in a way that isn't a scar.